Employees of a startup company gathered last month at the mouth of Tokyo's Arakawa River. This handmade machine filters river water. After submerging it for three minutes, the team found what it was looking for. Microplastics are a global problem affecting Japan in a big way. Plastic fragments have been found in all of Tokyo's waterways. River mouths opening into Tokyo Bay had particularly high levels, thought to have washed in on ocean currents. But the problem is domestic as well. The Arakawa River was full of microplastics upstream. A wide variety of plastic is polluting the Arakawa. But over 70% of plastic found was one type. Polyethylene comes from plastic shopping bags, for instance. Japanese municipalities separate out and recycle shopping bags. Yet, here they are as microplastics in a river. Part of the problem lies in the recycling system. Companies that used to buy plastic and process it can no longer handle the volume. Japan produces 9.4 million tons of plastic waste every year. About 7% is recycled into new products. Over half is burned and turned into heat or electricity. About 20% has traditionally been sent overseas as a reusable resource, most of that to China. But last year, China's government banned such imports, leaving municipalities with tons of plastic garbage. The prefecture needs new export locations to replace China. Then State Environment Minister Naomi Tokashiki visited Bangkok this past summer. The aim of the trip was to supply Thai companies with Japanese know-how to process growing mountains of plastic trash. But Thailand has its own trash problems. Houses along this river use it as a dump. Suddenly the boat stopped. The motor got tangled up in, you guessed it, plastic garbage. Experts are alarmed with Japan's choice. Southeast Asian countries import garbage, but may not process it properly. Eventually, it can get into the ocean and come back to Japan as microplastic. In October, lawmakers moved to make shoppers pay for plastic bags. But the permanent solution to the plastic problem lies simply in using less. Joshua Brown, Nippon TV.